I owned the first gen Apple Watch and it had been an integral part of my daily routine. Seven generations later, my Apple Watch felt very outdated and so I went out and updated mine to the latest Apple Watch Series 7. The Series 7 is a minor improvement over the previous gen, but coming from Apple Watch Series 1, I was able to appreciate a lot of features in my Series 7. The idea is not a lot of people upgrade their Apple Watch every year. Coming from much older model, these are the six features that I love the most and which you might appreciate it too in the new Apple Watch Series 7. So let's get started. First, the performance. Like I said before, it's a minor improvement over Series 6, but from the Apple Watch Series 1, performance improvement is very noticeable. Apps would keep loading forever in my first generation watch, but the experience is very agile in the new series. I used to not even open any apps on my older watch and go straight for my phone since it would be that slow. The experience was like using a 25-year-old tech, but that's changed in Series 7. I use my watch for common tasks like home automation, Siri, replying to messages, or camera remote, sleep tracking apps, and more. It's been more than a month of using the watch and I don't see any slowdowns or hiccups. Coming from a 3 or 4 generation old Apple Watch, you might really appreciate the performance boost. Second, the larger screen. Apple Watch Series 7's frame and display size are both larger than the original Apple Watch. The display curves around the corner, unlike the Series 1, but I assume that this is not a big deal. 1.65 inches versus 1.9 inch on paper didn't feel like a major jump, but using both watch side by side and now I cannot go back to the smaller screen watch. A lot of apps like maps, messages, photos, watch faces, home automation, all look much better on the larger display. I can see more of my emails and messages in one go, and the notifications show more content than before, and it has made the usability of the watch much better. Third, the auto tracking feature. What I meant by this is in Apple Watch Series 1, a workout, sleep tracking, even an outdoor walk had to be manually started on my Apple Watch. But with Series 7, it automatically tracks my sleep if I wear my watch to sleep. It automatically recognizes that I'm doing an outdoor walk and it starts activity right when I start it. It even recognizes that I'm washing my hands and tells me when it's complete. I wear it almost all the time, except for charging and it automatically knows my workout, sleep, etc. It's more intelligent now and it's one less thing for me to worry about. Fourth, the fast charging. It has been a blessing. My first gen Apple Watch requires almost a whole night worth of charging so I can use it fully the next day. That means I cannot track my sleep. If I want to, I'll have to charge the previous day. So it was either my workouts or my sleep. But with the fast charging on Series 7, I almost always wear it except for my shower. This is sufficient for charging my watch for the whole day or night. I don't have to worry about if my watch is sufficiently charged periodically. In fact, my Apple Watch reminds me to charge for some time before my bedtime if it knows that the charge won't last the whole night. It's still not as good as a week of battery life like the Fitbit trackers, but it's a big step up and I'm loving it. Fifth, Siri. We have a smart home with devices compatible with Siri. Lights, speaker, HomePod, security cameras, TV, etc. And Siri is our primary way of communicating with our smart devices. We use our HomePod mini or our iPhones to control the devices. But with Apple Watch Series 7, we are able to access Siri straight from our watch. It's always right there to control any of our smart devices. We, in fact, control our Apple TV with our Apple Watch. It's incredibly easy and makes your life so much easier. Not just for smart devices, I use Siri on my Apple Watch for timers, starting a workout, opening apps, and so much more. Sixth, auto unlock feature. Guess I saved the best for the last. I cannot express how much I love this feature. Due to the pandemic, every time I go out and I need to use my phone, I have to unlock it manually since Face ID wouldn't work with the mask on. This was especially difficult when I go for grocery shopping where I have my shopping list on my phone and I had to unlock my phone multiple times with a passcode while shopping. But with Apple Watch 7, it automatically unlocks my phone when wearing the watch. It came in very handy in a lot of situations. Given wearing mask is gonna stay for some time, I'll never leave my home without the watch on. Other than the six big ones, I also have to mention a few other small ones that I love about my Apple Watch 7. It has a lot more health sensors like oxygen sensors, ECG sensors, other than the default heart rate sensors on my old Apple Watch. These gives me a lot better tracking of my workouts and my sleep. The storage on Series 7 is also larger at 32GB versus 8 on Series 1, which means more apps that I can install, more music on the go, etc. My Series 1 did not have a GPS, which means I needed my phone along for outdoor runs and accurate measurements. But 
Note Series 7 has a GPS built-in, which means I can leave my watch at home for a run and sing back later when done. All these have been extremely useful, making my Series 7 a very happy purchase. There are a few things that I think can be improved and which I don't love so much, but I'll cover them in a separate video to keep this one short. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this content. This is Anjana. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.